Hi, welcome to Show and Tell. Today I'm going to look at an app that I use in my classroom called To Build a Profile. It works on iPods and each practitioner in my classroom will watch the children during free flow and if they see a significant observation they can take a photograph on this and then later on they can add some information to it which gets synced up to a website which I can overview the children's data on. Okay, so let's have a look here at the obs observation. I've already made one here, you can see I click on it and it's a series of four photographs with a post-it note at the top. In the middle it has which children are tagged in the observation and underneath it has anything linked to the early learning goals and the development matters. Okay, so if I have a look here, I'll click on the photo. You can see this one is a series of four photographs. You can choose just to have one main photograph there. Okay, if I click on the yellow post-it note, you can see there's a space for you to write uh, what you want about the children. I would suggest also you could write down what the children have said there as well and whether they did it independently or they did it with a bit of support. You've got a space there for next steps. If you choose not to write in that, it won't show up when it prints the report. There won't be a paragraph with nothing written in. And also underneath you've got uh, who's observed them, so that's really useful if you've got a lot of observations from different practitioners, you'll be able to see who did what. Okay, so let's have a look and make one ourselves now. So if I click on the camera button, that gives me the option of taking a photograph of the children. But as I'm at home, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a photo that I've already previously taken. So I click cancel, it will give me the option to load up the gallery. So I load up my gallery, I'll go into my favourites, and there was an observation I did of my child when we were on the beach and she was putting her hands in the sand, putting her feet in the sand. So you can see here, there she is on the beach. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to put Isabel was exploring the sand. Okay, I could choose to put next steps and who was observed by. Okay, now underneath, this is where you can add the learners. So if you have more than one child that was doing the activity, you can tag four or five, six children in this activity. So I click on add learners. I've just made a couple here to show you. There's myself and Isabel. So I just click on that. If I wanted two people, you just click the children that you want. Okay, go back. That's tagged her in it now. So that means that all this information will now be saved on her profile. Okay, if I click on add objectives, I can go into here, I'll go up and to start. You'll be given this menu here. I'll go into early years, I'll go into physical development, moving and handling. You can choose the age range of the child that you're observing. So eight to 20 months, and I'll be looking at, enjoys the sensory experience of making marks in damp sand, paste or paint, so I can tag that one. I can go back up and I can tag a few more as well if I want. Click close and then that will now be synchronised with her profile online. When you load up the app online, you can actually look at each child's profile. You can see how many observations they've had in the day, in the weeks, in the months. You can see what areas each child has been observed in, maybe it's maths or literacy. You can see gaps as well of children's learning. Is it because the child can't do that or is it because a practitioner hasn't seen them do it? It's really uh, useful information that I can give my staff to say, could you find out for me if this child can uh, use one-handed tools outside and things like that, it's very useful. Okay, I'll click finish there. I really enjoy the app, it is quite expensive and there are other options out there which I will be reviewing in the future. Uh, one of the main things I like about this app is that it's got good parental engagement. You can actually uh, email parents specific observations that you feel they want to see. It makes it into a PDF and they get it by email. Uh, also, all of the information that you've gathered on the children gets converted into a PDF and you can make a nice booklet of it. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.